And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and it's time to play some My Team Limited. So, Limited is meh. It's the same as last week. It's just Western Conference instead of Eastern Conference. No pink diamonds, two diamonds, all the rest amethyst or below. Running Dante Murray, Bruce Bowen, Robert Covington, who unfortunately I sold my evo version, so he's non evo It doesn't really matter, though. Andre Karolinko, who I know is an expensive card, and I usually try to leave these out, but... AK is just so much fun. Then I'm running Serge Ibaka at center. On the bench, I'm running Drew Holiday, Gary Harris, Scotty Pippen, Lamar Odom, just because I need to use another diamond. I don't really have anyone else. And the GOAT himself, Mike Muscala. All right, Mike Muscala is, honestly, on current gen, he's really good. So this is the squad that I'm using. Let's look at some alternatives. If you're looking for a cheap center alternative, uh, some people are going to use Tyson Chandler, but I really don't think he's worth using just because he's not versatile enough ha or deandre ayton are probably your two best bets if you don't have a baka and don't want to spend the tokens or whatever or yao if you're on uh, next gen if you're on next gen you can just paint smash him to death with yao and ha double team really not tight i kind of hate gary harris i'll be honest as far as the diamond cards you should use i mean whoever you have like you know it doesn't really matter whatever diamonds you have uh jordan Poole is going to be a popular pick you're going to see him pretty often um I was thinking about even using Slick Watts if I had him evo but it is what it is. Um, other than that, I mean, there's not a whole lot of options. Majority of the cards, you know, at least in the budget department or Eastern Conference for some reason. Uh, James Worthy, Yao Ming, Damian Lillard are good options. Uh, Go Bear if you're looking for a defensive center, but I think Ha brings you enough of that without having to sacrifice the offense. Lou Dort is honestly really good, and... I might even use him over Gary Harris. I just, I, I don't know what it is, but I have an issue with Gary Harris. Like, I, I don't know. Don't use Manu. Literally use anyone else but Manu. I hate this card so much. Hey, if this video gets uh, three likes, I'll shave my entire beard off and just have a Louis Dampier mustache. Uh, if you're looking for a, a pretty cheap card to run, Ryan Cook, if you want to run him. Uh, Mike Muscala is like 1,500 MT, by the way. Like, he's super cheap. But if you need another card, you know, Brian... Ryan Cook's like, what, 15 tokens? It's probably worth that. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap diamond to run, Mark Aguirre's solid, though how much better he is than, like, Robert Covington in the first place is debatable. But if you're looking for someone to run at the small forward while you run Roko at potentially the power forward, or if you have, like, another power forward that you can run, Mark Aguirre's like 10K, and you could do a lot worse. Like, he's really, really solid. He's got base 22. He holds it down. I really wish I could use Lucius Allen. Unfortunately, I cannot. Julius Randle, if you have him, he's another good card to use, obviously. I mean, as far as the Amethyst cards, I mean, it is what it is. If you're looking for a point guard that can hold it down, Drew Holiday is still really good. 10K, I know, is a little bit expensive. You can always pick up Jordan Poole for significantly less than that. He just doesn't bring you very much on the defensive end. Honestly, though, if you want somebody that... You can rent to get your ring. Drew Holiday is not terrible. He's one of my favorite point guards in the game. Murray is a little bit too expensive. Like, I'm running Murray, but you shouldn't pay 20 k for him. That's just my thought of the matter. Plus, you can find some badge upgraded Drew Holidays. Same with Jason Richardson. If you're looking for a wing, you can definitely find some with badge upgrades. I kind of forgot De'Aaron Fox even exists. That's also, like, a pretty solid card to look into. DeMarcus Cousins. Rocco is definitely the guy that you should probably pick up, though. He's going to be on like every limited squad. Don't use Marvin Bagley. There's got to be someone else. Taylor Horton Tucker is relatively cheap. I hate his release. Like I said, Lou Dort and Gary Harris are very cheap if you're looking for some help in the shooting guard department. I can't believe all we got for usable cards today was Davion Mitchell and Tyson Chandler. The audacity. Rashawn Holmes, if you have him, great card to use your diamond on. There's not very many great big men. Um, at least in the diamond or below for Western Conference. This is a good time to sell Murray if you have been planning on selling him because his price is up. Honestly, if you're looking for a really cheap point guard to pick up that can kind of hold it down, Jalen Brunson is not bad. Like, he's not good, but he's not bad. Same with Jordan Poole. Honestly, Jalen Green solid. Mike Muscala is like 1800 MT. I promise you that he's the best possible decision you can make. If you're looking for a big man that can hold down the bench unit and you're on current gen, Mike Muscala. All right, so we got a pretty solid squad. Ron Boone, uh, Evode Rocco, Jordan Poole, uh, John, he's got Silas, oh man, and Abaka. 
if I was on next gen, I would have a decent chance here because I would have a much bigger team. Bruce Bowen is one of those cards that at the shooting guard, I'm not sure how effective he is because he brings you almost no ball handling. He's ex exclusively a three and D cone. And the way my offense works, I don't know. I'm over on current gen for this gameplay. I will do a next gen one over on the stream. Check that out. I'm going to be jumping on in like a half hour or whatever. Um, 6.30 central time is when I'll be live. So I don't even know when this is going to come out, to be honest. It might come out after. I'm not sure. Look at my man DeAndre Ayton just ready. Bruce Bowen just looks so right in long shorts. I don't know what it is, but seeing him in short shorts just doesn't look right. All right, yuck, man. Come on. What do we got going on here? Is that? Yeah, Jordan Poole. All right. Not the greatest start in the world, but it's all good. It's just a layup. That's why I like Murray, though. He can he can get in it. Oh, bad shot by a uh, AK-47, but no big deal. Oh, it is because we didn't get the rebound, but it's fine. Andre Karolinko is here strictly to play defense. Like I'm going to try not to abuse him on offense because when I do these gameplays, I try to let the budget cards kind of shine a little bit more than the uh, high tier guys. Like, except for Murray. I run a lot through my point guard. Kind of need him. Covington, splash. <laughs> like I said, even at Ruby, Covington is incredibly good. If you have a non evo Batum, by the way, you're really holding it down. I evo mine, unfortunately, so... This guy has Silas. I don't feel bad about using AK, honestly. Terrible shot, get the board. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right, ooh, look at my man Bruce Bowen. Yeah, he's not doing it. Yeah, Aiton, there we go. Now, Aiton is a dangerous card to run on current gen, but there's not a lot of shooting centers. That's why I'm hyping Mike Muscala so hard. Serge Ibaka might be a little bit better, but Aiton's just so huge, that's why I'm running him. I'm not going to sit here and off ball the entire time with Aiden. That's a coward move. Oh, get open. Murray? Okay. That was a horrible shot. Oh, I got blessed by 2K right there. That was horrendous. <laughs> oh, are, are, are we gone? All right. Adios. Cool. There we go. Now I'm going to play another game. That's not really indicative of how well the squad's going to do. So I'm going to go jump into another one as well. Who do we stay with the 1000 MT? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, let's play another game. Look at my man Lamar Odom, dude. Just look look at him. He didn't even get a chance to play any minutes last game. Ah, uh, the audacity. All right, yeah, either way, let's jump into another uh, limited game. Use this squad. Got to buy some more contracts. That's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. I better make at least 1,000 MT if I win this game. Like, at least. Just to make up for the 860 or something that I just had to purchase. I think I had to purchase... Alright, so we got Louis Dampier, Jordan Poole, Batum, Robert Covington, Evode, and Aiton. I switched up and uh, put Avaca in the starting lineup. So, I don't know. I just want to try him out. I think I still have Aiton in my 13th man spot. So, I'm going to, like, mess around with Ibaka. I should probably put Aiden in though, because like Aiden v Aiden is probably going to be helpful, but we'll try out Ibaka for a little bit. All right, trying to dribble with Bruce Bowen is not a good idea. Ooh, terrible. There we go. That's fine. You know what? Shout out to this guy for playing on ball defense. You don't see that with people using Aiden very often. And as I said it, it's done already. All right. Abaka's a great pick and pop big. He just does have kind of that quicker release on current gen, which I don't use Abaka too much anymore. So I'm kind of a little frosty. I guess that's not the right word. Frosty means on top of it, I think, right? And like military slang. That means I'm rusty. I don't know why I said frosty. <laughs> it is what it is. Zero, zero. That's what we like to see right there. I might have to get Mike Muscala in here. This guy's just kind of swarming me with Aiden. I'm telling you, I'm late every single time on Ibaka's shot. Heads up play by uh, Bruce Bowen right there. The lack of athleticism I have on my starting lineup is troubling, though. Like, outside of AK, like, Robert Covington's not very athletic. Bruce Bowen is not athletic. They're great defenders, but not good athletes. It's really just Murray and AK out here. Those are the only two athletic players I have. Uh, the bench is a little bit different, so I'm not really too upset about that. They don't be leaving AK open. Have you guys noticed on current gen that for some reason, like, 
your players step over the line a significant amount more over on the wings. Like, I don't understand what that is. Like, over on the corners, they always streak in and try to shoot long twos. I don't know if that's 2K's version of, like, correcting, like, the dropping corner issues that we've had, so they're just going to make them shoot long twos instead. I don't know, but it's been happening a lot more recently. Yeah, okay, good job, guys. Way to uh, play heads-up basketball. Ooh, there we go, Murray. Oh, that's a frustration foul. That's what we like to see. Look, like I said, um, as good as Murray is, like, you can get away with running drew holiday i mean that's who i'm using on my bench i should be using louis dampier i just didn't want to use anyone else at the power forward i was gonna to have to run surge at the power forward as opposed to odom on the bench and i liked i like a hyper athletic power forward i'm gonna dusty eight in mid-range okay fine so be it you want to play that way you want to play the game how it's supposed to be played fine it'd be that way all right go get open Okay, that's not really what I meant, Obako, but it's fine. Look at this offense. Let me show you an example of how not to play offense. Ah, oh, Abaka. There we go. Put it back up. Yeah. Get big. Six to six. That's fine because my bench unit is my scoring unit, and I will smite you with it. First off, he's using my boy Louis Dampier. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like having Louis. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That's what we like to see. Karolinko with just the nastiest snatch block. All right, let's get the bench unit in there. Mike Muscala is about to come through and make it rain. All right. There we go, Baca. Hit that terrible shot. I cannot get this timing down. There we go, Robert Covington. Oh, my God. <sighs> tisk, tisk. Oh, heads up. Play by Bruce Bell and and AK. Yo, Bruce Bowen's got you, dude. Yeah, he's just not, he doesn't have the uh, the rebound, but he had the defense. Oh, he's going to sit here and goaltend out of spite. Fine with me. All right. We got the real bench squad in here right now. We got Drew Holiday, Mike Muscala, Gary Harris, who I don't like, Lamar Odom, and oh, Mike Muscala already just getting buckets. I told you. What did I say? I said Mike Muscala is about to come out here and get buckets. This I did not joke about. Yeah, that's out of bounds right there. That's what we like to see. Now, this bench unit is a little bit better against the team I'm playing against because he's going to paint it with Aiden. So having like a deep range shooter like Muscala and then having like someone athletic like Odom is going to be beneficial. There we go, Gary Harris. Lou Dort would have hit that too, though, just for the record. Like, that's why I say it doesn't matter which one of those two you use. It's a preference thing. I prefer Lou Dort, I think. Like... I don't know, Gary Harris just feels sluggish to me. I don't know what it is. Lou Dort kind of feels sluggish too, but it's like you expect that from Lou Dort, so it's like whatever. Oh, I forgot about Scotty Pippen. I forgot he was out here. Take it to the rack. Oh, Mike Muscala. Bring the pain. Bring the pain, Mike Muscala. That's what we like to see. Woo, all right, 15 to 11. Bench unit's still out here. I might just keep him in for a bit. Don't be leaving my man Mike Muscala open. It's a mistake. Terrible shot by Pippen there. <sighs> Pippen is a good small forward to run. I will say that. Like, he's he's not that expensive. He moves really well. Uh, he plays immaculate defense. It's just that jump shot is so slow. Bring it, Batum. He brought it, in case you guys were wondering. That's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh, look at that. Crossed you with Drew Holiday. Take it to the rag, Drew. That's what we like to see. Anybody else's uh, series one points thing just completely broken? How did you get, how did you, what, what, what just happened? How are you going to disgrace my man Louis Dampierre like that? Like the audacity. Oh, terrible. Oh, there we go, Gary, hit that. Oh, see, Lou Dort would have hit that. That's just how I feel about it. Gary Harris, he is wearing a headband though. I do respect that. Anybody wearing a headband is tight with me. You know what I mean? All right, Scotty Pippen, we're gonna use you over here on Batum. Yeah, look at Scotty. Look at Scotty. All right, back over to uh, Drew Holiday real quick. Come here, Jordan Poole. You don't want any Gary Harris. He wanted Gary Harris. Good defense. Oh, are you serious, Nicholas Batum? There we go. Look at my man Scotty Pippen out here. Who's getting the ball? Let my man Mike Muscala get open. Never mind. I guess it's Odom time. Splash. <laughs> See you. 
All right, that's two wins for the uh, limited squad right there. So you get to, you could see, I, I keep a focus on defense with the limited squad, right? I like you guys have watched enough of my limited tips videos to know that I like defensive players because I play terrible defense, right? My offense isn't the greatest either, but my defense is absolutely horrendous. So I like to use a bunch of three and D guys. It typically works for me. I'm not saying it'll specifically work for you, but you know, try some of these guys out if you can get them for cheap enough. You know, guys like Scotty Pippen, um, Bruce Bowen, Lou Dort, Gary Harris, cheap guys like that. Mike Muscala, who I told you was the GOAT. As always, it's been your boy Cheap Lutes. I appreciate every single one of you people. And uh, drop a like on this video, comment down below. Good luck getting your ring this weekend. Peace out.